Hello and welcome back to the Gourmet Pantry. Today we're going to be making celeriac mash. Really nice accompaniment to fish and a lot of meats as well, fun enough. <laughs> now, obviously with mashed potato, we need potatoes. However, for celeriac mash, we're going to be using this beautifully attractive root vegetable called celeriac. I believe it's a member of the celery family, as it tastes very similar to celery, and also it sounds like celery because it's called celeriac. Don't worry about the exterior, they always look like this. All you've got to do is being very ruthless, cut off the outside and you will end up with something resembling that. Chuck all of this in the bin, you don't need it. Grab two pans, fill with boiling water, and chuck them on the hob. One. Two. Don't, like me, forget to season the water. Grab your peeler of choice and go to town. Now chop and add to one pan celeriac and chop and add to the other pan the potato. Try to keep them about the same size so they'll cook at the same rate. The reason we need to keep them separate I will explain later. Give everything about five or ten minutes until it's all soft and the potatoes when skewered with a knife drop straight off. Not ready. Ready. The problem with making celeriac mash, which trips up a lot of people, is that potatoes don't blend and celeriac doesn't mash. So you've got to blend the celeriac, mash potatoes, and then mix them together afterwards. So if you were to put a potato in a magimix, blitz it around, you'd end up with this really starchy, gooey, treacle-like substance. Tastes a bit like potato, not very nice. And if you were to try and mash celeriac, you'd just end up with lots of really big, chunky celeriac tasting lump, and it wouldn't be combined as well as you want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump the celeriac into the blender, and we're gonna mash the potato. Just to make celeriac a bit runnier, so it mixes better, you can add a bit of milk, and to the potato, you want to add a bit of butter. When the celeriac resembles mashed potato, scrape it out, add it to the mash. Now the celeriac's been chopped up pretty finely in the food processor, it blends with the potato much more easily, and as a result, gives the whole thing a much lighter feel. Now we've got it to the right consistency, we want to get the flavours. So we're going to pop in a little bit of salt, and some pepper and give it a bit more of a mix. And there we have it, celeriac mash for two hungry people or three or four well-fed people. The fluffiness of those potatoes and the almost sweet celery flavour from the celeriac go beautifully together. And a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter gives it that extra creaminess with salt and pepper to bring out all the flavour. Absolutely perfect. Give it a go, see what you think. And thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to chuck them in the questions section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, if you've liked this video, please, please subscribe and click the like button below. See you next time.